Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. It is Monday, so we are doing our biblical content and we have been going through uh, some attributes of God. Um, I have been going through 15 and I think there's more. Um, so I'll go through these 15 and then I will tackle those that this article in particular does not cover. Um, there is a link below to where I am um, getting my information from, the website that I'm accessing all this from. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and check it out. Um, the last video that we did last week, we talked about God is how God is omnipotent. We have spoken about just a quick little review. We started talking about, oh, we started to rain outside. Um, we started talking about how God is infinite, meaning that he is self-existent without origin. We also talked about how God is immutable, meaning he never changes. Um, number three is God is suf self-sufficient, meaning he has no needs. And uh, number four, we did God is omnipotent, that he is all powerful. And today we're gonna discuss God is omniscient. He is all knowing. Um, and all of this guys, we see in the Bible, in scripture. Uh, God has revealed himself, has, in, has revealed enough about himself through the word of God and something that we're learning on Sundays that the word of God is sufficient, um, that it is uh, enough that God has given of himself and who he is in the world for us to have faith in him and to trust him and to see that he is good and to see all these things here that we have been discussing. So um, today uh, is kind of special because I feel like uh, lately it is an aspect or an attribute of God that I have been clinging to. Um, I've mentioned this before that my husband, my husband, well, yeah, my husband, um, our family has been kind of going through um, some very drastic transitions in our lives. And um, I think looking back and realizing, pondering and meditating in the fact that God knows everything, even things that um, I feel like only I know, you know, and things that I've experienced. And in so many trials that we go through, um, and in sometimes a certain injustice that we think we go through, or things that maybe we choose not to share, um, we can open up to our God and we can share it to Him because not only is He there available for us and He is everywhere, which is what we're gonna see, is in the next one? Uh, yeah, He is omnipresent, which is the next attribute that we're gonna discuss. So not only is He there listening to us, but He knows everything. The Bible says that He knows us more than we know ourselves. He knows the number of hairs we have in our head. He knows our beginning, our end. He knows everything about us knows us more than we know ourselves and knows our situations, knows our trials. He knows the words that we say, he knows the words that we think and the feelings that we feel, um, whether they're right or they're wrong. He knows everything, we are open to him. And um, so that particular attribute has been one that I've been kind of clinging, clinging to and knowing that um, that he is good and that he is just, and we're gonna talk more, because those are just other attributes about him. But just clinging to that has been, um, a great remedy, a great source of hope. Um, and uh, yeah, just certain seasons that my husband and I and our family are going through right now. So, okay, so God is omniscient. He is all knowing. In Isaiah 46, nine through 10, it says, remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I love that repetition. I make known the end, sorry, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. So he knows everything. He knows the beginning and the end. He knows everything about human existence and beyond because he is orchestrating it. And I love that he is all knowing um, I think a lot of times we get caught up when, and then maybe I felt this way for many years, that he knows the future just because he just knows how things are gonna unfold. You know what I'm saying? And he just, it's just knowledge. But it's far past that. If we see, looking at um, four, right, that we got, we talked about that he is all powerful and he can make, and ha make anything happen, um, and he is all knowing, he knows because he has purposed it to come. 
So that we're gonna continue to talk about later, but he knows he is all powerful to make his will happen. I love it says, my purpose will stand, I will do all that I please. So he is all knowing, say of the future, because he has created it. He is that much of in control. And, um, and so I take comfort in that, you know? And again, knowing everything about my situation because he is allowing it, some people might say, causing it, some people might say, but knowing that he is all powerful, I believe he's causing it and he's causing it for my good and for his glory. Um, so I take, I take uh, yeah, refuge in that. God is omniscient, which means he knows everything. And I love this because we cannot hide from him. We can be totally open and honest and vulnerable with him, not just because he's present, but because he knows everything. He already knows it. What I'm going to say, he already knows it. He already knows me and my depth and what I'm going to think and what I'm going to say. Um, so I love that. He's omniscient, which means that he knows everything. And for that reason, we can be very open to sharing things with him um, very boldly. Um, Deb Debbie McDaniel writes this about the omniscience of God. He can be everywhere at the same time and he never sleeps or slumbers. He's aware every moment of every day, exactly what we're up to, we're up against. He knows our way and he is with us always. There is no place on this earth we can go that he does not see and know of. I love that it says that he does not sleep, he does not slumber. So God is not like us that he needs to rest, right? That he needs to get his eight hours of sleep. When we are sleeping, he is awake all the time, 24 seven, and he is available and the, he is present. I'm reminded of this last phrase where it says, there's no place on this earth that we can go that he does not see and know. I'm reminded of um, Romans eight. I can't remember exactly the verse. I think it's towards the end of the chapter where he talks about God's love. Um, where he is, is, his love is there. And it says that we cannot be separated from his love, you know, nothing. And it goes into detail as to no, no height, no depth, no width, no nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of, of God because his love is where he's at and he is everywhere and he is all knowing, right? Um, Tozer, A.W. Tozer writes this about God's omniscience. Um, God perfectly knows himself and being the source and author of all things, he follows that he knows all that can be done. And this he knows instantly and with a fullness of perfection that includes every possible item of knowledge concerning everything that exists or could have existed anywhere in the universe at any time in the past or that may exist in the centuries or ages yet unborn. He knows even the things that have yet to come, that have not unfolded, just like he knows the past. He knows all those things are unseen. Um, and so for that reason, I think when we think about even God's justice, um, we know that he knows, he can deliver true justice because he knows everything. You know how like if you go to like the court of law, um, or you're like, you know, you're called to, to, to be a juror, right? Or you're involved in some kind of case or whatever. Um, there's witnesses because you need to, you need, the more you know of a situation, the more you're able to make, uh, a, a, um, what do you call it? Oh my goodness. A, um, a verdict, right? The more the jury, the jurors know, um, the more the jury knows everything about the case and the witnesses and, um, the evidence the more they're able to see the bigger picture of a story or a crime or whatever unfolded. And then they're able to be more clear in their verdict, right? Oh, this one's guilty. This one's innocent. This happened, etc. And I feel like when it comes to God, because he is yet another attribute that he's just, um, since he knows, I feel like all the attributes are like tied together because he knows everything. He's able to deliver true justice. He is able to say what is right, what is wrong. He knows thoughts, he knows motives, he knows everything. He knows what is yet to come, what is unborn, what is yet unfolded. Um, so again, taking comfort in this God that knows everything, okay? Because God is all knowing, we can trust that he knows everything we're going through today and everything we will go through tomorrow. When we meditate on this truth, especially in light of 
other attributes of goodness and love, like I just mentioned, and makes it easier to trust him with all we have going on in our lives, from the very serious to the silly and the mundane. I love that because we can trust God, not just when we're going through trials or seasons, but in every day. We can trust um, when we go to the grocery store, just silly things like that, or silly things, mundane things, everyday things, but also the serious hard things in life. Um, so I love how it says that our trust grows in Him, our faith is strengthened, when we go through these attributes, when we contemplate, when we behold this God that we serve, that we love. And that has been such a source of strengthening my faith and, um, and trusting God, trusting Him every, every day. And every day I feel like I've shared this with you guys. We have like spiritual amnesia where we just forget the things that we learned yesterday. Um, like my kids, I'm like, please pick up after yourself or like, they have amnesia every day, pick up your room, pick up, you know. Um, and I see so much of myself in them because I'm like that with God. I don't trust him as much. I run the risk of not trusting him as much tomorrow because I feel like I'm gonna forget all the things he's done for me today. And so, again, the importance of walking, um, abiding in his word, meditating in his word day and night because we are still sinful and we will forget. And today I challenge you to meditate on that. The fact that he is omniscient, that he knows everything about you, that you can be open because he knows everything. And because he knows your faults and your sins and what you will commit, you can come to him without any reservations. You can come to him openly, honestly, vulnerable, with a humble attitude, knowing that because of Christ, he has forgiven us. So, just a challenge for you guys today. You know, today, just ponder on that and dwell on that attribute of God. Let it strengthen your faith, your trust, whatever it is that you're going through right now, to open up to Him, know that He's listening, know that He knows it all, um, and that He is good, and that He is working everything for your good, that His love does not change. Like we talked about, He's unchanging. Um, and let that really strengthen your faith today. So. Going through this just right now, you know, it's it's definitely strengthening my faith, my faith, and um, and growing in trust. And I pray every day. I'm like, Lord, please let now what I remember, or let me remember what I learned about you, just you know, today and yesterday, and let that just kind of stay in my mind, you know, through circumstances. Let me not be like that person. Who was it in Proverbs? It says that if we look, if we look at ourselves in a in a mirror, you know, what I'm saying we look away and we forget what we look like. You know what I'm saying? We forget his promises because we do that because of you know, our sinful nature. So challenging myself today, challenging you guys today um, to dwell on the fact that we serve a God who is omniscient, who knows everything. Every, again, like every thought, every action, every motive, every feeling that I'm having today that I've had and I will have in the future. So, all right guys, so that's about it. Um, hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay tuned for a few messages from myself if you're new here and I will see you on my next video, bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch my videos. I put a lot of time and effort in filming these videos and uploading them and editing them for you guys. So it means the world that you guys are taking the time uh, to watch them. So first of all, thank you so much. There's a few things that I wanna share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one is I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you want prayer over, um, if you have a family or a friend that need, needs prayer, or if you're going through a situation, um, yeah, or for you, for anyone that you know, go ahead and comment below, or you can go ahead and contact me by emailing me or through social media as well. And I will definitely be praying for you and for your situation. Number two, if you are on social media, you should totally be following me. I'll go ahead and put my handler below. Um, specifically, Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot more content there, specifically on Instagram. Um, I post pictures of my family, of trips, of what I do during the day, recipes, outfits, just a lot more content there, and I have so much fun with it. So if you are on social media, go ahead and follow me over there. 
Number three, I have an Etsy shop where I design graphic t-shirts. Um, in the future, I'm thinking of maybe adding a few more items on there, but go ahead and check it out. They are comfy t-shirts, mostly faith-based, um, tons of different colors, and I love t-shirts. I live in t-shirts, and I love designing them, so I've made this shop available for you guys, for you guys to purchase some really cool and comfy t-shirts that I have designed. So go ahead and check it out. The link to my Etsy shop will be below. And number four, last but certainly not least, if you are not part of this family yet, consider subscribing. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload three days a week. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Wednesdays is mostly Bible related. I do Bible studies and such, and we have fun in those days because we dive into the Word of God and we learn. Um, and Fridays is mostly for my girls out there. I do a lot of makeup hauls, makeup reviews, get ready with me, makeup tutorials. I also do recipes. I do so many things just about my life. And like I said, we have tons of fun on Fridays as well. So if you want to join us, if you feel like that's something that you would love to be a part of, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video. See, that was short and sweet, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.